Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Let us start with the most beloved words to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the most beloved statements to Allah are four. It doesn't matter which one you start with. That is, you may start with any of these four. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. You know the meanings already. Subhanallah. Subhanallah means glorified is Allah. Subhanallah, glorified is Allah. Or Allah is free from defects and deficiencies. Walhamdulillah, all the praises and thanks are for Allah. Wala ilaha illallah. Wala ilaha. And there is no God illa except illallah, except Allah. Wallahu akbar. And Allah is the greatest. We speak thousands of words every day. Most of them are perhaps useless. This hadith gives four statements that will lift us and those around us spiritually and morally and bring us eternal rewards. They will increase our faith and develop love and greatness of Allah in our hearts. Let's take brief explanations. Subhanallah. That is, Allah is free from any defect or deficiency. He needs no one as a partner. His commands are perfect. His tests that we are going through are also perfect. We just beg him that he helps us pass the tests. Alhamdulillah. Say the dhikr with alternating feelings because hamd has two meanings praise and thanks so sometimes praising Allah for his attributes as are reflected in his creations or thanking Allah for the blessings that we enjoy or and thanking Allah for the blessings that we enjoy la ilaha illallah there is no God there is no ilah except Allah so we have to focus on the meanings of the word Ilah. Ilah has different meanings. For example, the one who is worshipped, the one who fulfills our needs, and the one who is obeyed. Try to keep these different meanings in mind while reciting it. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. Greatest in all excellent attributes. We can think of each of the 99 attributes of Allah and rea realize His greatness. Let's take two statements. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, There are two statements that are light for the tongue, heavy in the scales, and are dear to the merciful. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al -azim. Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. Or more precisely, Allah is free from defects and deficiencies. Okay, that is subhanallah. Wa bihamdihi, wa bihamdihi has four words in it. Wa means and B means with hamd means all praise and thanks wa bihamdihi and with his praise he his wa bihamdihi and with his praise that is Allah is free from defects as well as he is full of praise and hamd means thanks also subhanallah of course you know glory be to Allah al azim the mighty the magnificent the first two words, subhanallah and bihamdihi, are explained earlier. Here in the second sentence, subhanallah al azim we have azim, and it's a very important aspect of praising Allah. Allah is azim, that means he, which implies his strength and power in his entity as well as in his attributes. Let's take a treasure from the treasures of Jannah. Abu Musa Ash'ari radiallahu an reported, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said to me, Shall I not guide you to a treasure from the treasures of Jannah? I said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. Thereupon he said, Recite, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. A man can have house, car, clothes, and many other things, but the treasure is the most valuable of them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam called these words, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, as a treasure of Jannah. That means they are very special in the sight of Allah. What's the meaning of La Hawla wa La Quwwata illa Billah? Hawl means strength. La Hawl means there is no strength. La Hawl, there is no strength. 
ولا قوة قوة is power ولا قوة what means and لا no قوة power ولا قوة and no power إلا بالله إلا means except okay بالله with Allah except with Allah لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله that is staying away from the evil giving up the evil and the will to repent is not possible at all without the help of Allah on the other side tawfiq the power to do good deeds and sticking to them for example to offer salah daily in time is not at all possible without the help of Allah that is there is no strength to stay away from the evil and no power to do good deeds except with Allah's help everything is possible by the help of Allah only cure from illness protection from poverty and troubles and success in all tasks are possible with the help of Allah only and how should we recite this with humility like the one who begs for Allah's help and protection la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah especially when you see a person who is doing wrong things don't feel you know great about yourself so I should say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah meaning oh Allah if I am away from the sins it is because of your mercy because of the power that you and if I'm doing good deeds it is because of the power you gave let's take the best dhikr the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said the best of what I and the prophets before me have said is la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir while reciting it we may sometimes remember the greatest and the most noble people of the world that is the prophets why because that's what the prophet said the best of what I and the prophets before me have said is this dhikr in another hadith the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said he who utters a hundred times in a day these words لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير he will have a reward equivalent to that for emancipating ten slaves hundred good deeds will be recorded to his credit hundred of his sins will be blotted out from his scroll and he will be safeguarded against the devil on that day till the evening and no one will exceed him in doing more excellent good deeds except someone who has recited these words more often than him. MashaAllah, amazing dhikr. La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah. That is simple, you know that. Wahdahu. He is alone. La means no. Shariq means partner. La shariq, no partner. Lahu to him. La shariqa lahu, no partner to him. Lahul mulku. For him is the kingdom. Al mulk means kingdom. Walahul hamdu. And for him, alhamdu. All praise and thanks. Lahul mulku, walahul hamdu. For him is the kingdom, and for him are all praises and thanks. Wahua ala kulli shayin qadir. Wahua and he is ala kulli shayin. Kul means every. Shay means thing. So kul means every and shay means thing kullu shay everything ala kulli shay over everything qadir qadir means all powerful and he is over everything all powerful analyze and memorize so you can memorize this dhikr on two fingers for ease of memorization you don't have to do like this and it's not a sunnah but just for ease and a tip you can write you can do different things so here on the first finger you have three units la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu on the second one lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir start with supplications or duas at the time of sleeping when going to sleep lay on your right side and keep your right palm below your right cheek and supplicate the following allahumma bismika Amutu wa ahya. What's the meaning of that? O oh Allah, in your name I die and I live. Allahumma means O oh Allah. You know that. Allahumma O oh Allah. Bismika. Bismika has three parts. B, 
is in. Ism is name. Ka, your. Bismika, in your name. Allahumma bismika, O oh Allah, in your name. Amutu. Amutu means I die. It is from maut. Maut means death. Amutu, I die. Wa ahya, and I live. Wa means and. Okay, don't mix that. Ahya means I live. Don't mix the two words. I mean, they are separate words. In your mind, you have to have them separate. Wa ahya, and I live. What's the message here? Sleep is like death. When we are asleep, we don't know if we exist or if there is anything called world. All our tasks should begin in the name of Allah. When we sleep in the name of Allah, our sleep is blessed and we overcome fatigue and laziness through the sleep. We wake up refreshed and our mind is relaxed after a restful sleep. Most importantly, Allah safeguards us, protects us during our sleep. This prayer reminds us of our life's mission. We can say, O oh Allah, my entire life until my death should be spent in your love, in your worship and in your obedience only because I am living in your name. Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. And when I wake up in the morning, I will work on those things which will please you. Sleep is a gift and a blessing from Allah. Waking up from it, opening eyes in the morning, waking up in time is also a reward from Allah. After waking up, recite the following supplication, which is, let's take piece by piece. Alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana. Alhamdu, all praise and thanks. Okay, lillah are for Allah. Alladhi, the one who. Ahyana, made up of two words. Ahya means gave life. He gave life and to us. Ahyana, he gave life to us. Ba'dama amatana. Ba'dama amat after he caused us to die. Wa ilayhi nushur and to him is the return. Let's take word for word. Ba'da means after. Ba'da means after. Ma, ba'dama together are translated as after. Or after that. Amatana. Amatana is made from two words. Mata means he died. Amata, he caused us to die or he gave death. Na, to us. Amatana, he gave death to us or he caused us to die because sleep is like death. Wa ilayhi, wa is and. Ilayhi, to him, towards him, to him. An nushur, nushur is return. Some people die in their sleep. Therefore, every new day is a gift from Allah. After waking up from full night's sleep, we should first thank Allah that He gifted us one more day so that we may lead our life as per His will and be successful. Allah made such a system that during sleep, our brain keeps working and we turn our sides automatically. As a result, when we wake up, we are sound and healthy. No part of our body is paralyzed. The secret of a healthy, successful, peaceful and pleasant life is that our morning begins with the remembrance of Allah. We say, Alhamdulillah. The peace and tranquility lies in the remembrance of Allah only. Our heart should be filled up with joy and feeling of thanks to Allah when we wake up. When we start our morning with this state, the whole day will be successful, inshallah. Wa ilayhi nushur. After getting up from the bed, we get engaged in our routine works, but a day will come when every soul is resurrected from its grave and will, will return to meet Allah. Wa ilayhi nushur. We can also say these words, wa ilayhi nushur, with uh, shawq with passion to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because in a hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever loves to meet Allah, Allah loves to meet him. We say, O oh Allah, grant us tawfiq to do good deeds so that we wake up on that day to be granted the ultimate success by your mercy. Please visit understandquran.com for our courses on read Al-Quran, learn Tajweed and understand Al-Quran and for one-to-one -one learning. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum.